Is Olaf a counter to Urgot, and does Urgot outscale him? Yeah, Olaf's an extreme counter to Urgot. Um, I would say you outscale Olaf, but the 1v1's always pretty close. I think Urgot in teamfight is better, though. But honestly, Olaf's not bad in teamfight. He can at least one for one somebody, usually. Like, just run somebody down. Alright, speaking of hard lands, set is a pretty tough one. And he's running Ignite. And I haven't played this matchup in a little while, so... Maybe a little bit rusty. This matchup is really hard until 9 now. You didn't really have any grit built up there. Chaos will set you, free. you always want to try to avoid that middle line on the W. That's the part that does true damage. You can actually fling him right as he W's in this matchup and just fling him over you. It's kind of a prediction now. Hard to get it every time. It's hard for me to tank the wave, man. I'm going to lose that on that wave now. I was hoping we could burst him before he W'd with my Ignite. Our voice lines. Oh wait, I thought he was running Leprechaun. I was gonna say that Leprechaun looked kind of updated, but it turns out it's actually Elderwood. You like Prowlers in this matchup for dodging the W? That's actually not a bad idea. I've always gone Eclipse in this matchup. I might try Prowlers though. I shouldn't be trading early, man. It's so hard to trade early. It's like, even if I take a winning trade, his passive heals so much. Take it. Solo killing another gank, dude. That's not bad. We'll do a point in Q here because I forgot to do it at level 4. I accidentally put it in W. We do lose out on another wave, though. That would be such a good solo kill right now if uh, Graves wasn't up there. Because I would push that next wave and then he would lose a wave. It'd be so good. This guy's really saving his land, man. I reckoning. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, I think I will go Prowlers this game, actually. They got four ranged. I'm either going to go Sunfire or Prowlers. I might just tank up. 
feel like Prowlers is kind of hard to use into Vigai. Aw, oh, dang, man. Yeah, that honestly does seem pretty good, Menace. Definitely easier than using E. Perfect. He had no W right there. Just throw everything at him. Wow, we're actually managing to get a lot of solo kills pre-9. I think that's honestly just the power of Ignite. And seeing my kill windows right now. Yeah, I'm actually really liking the Ignite. I wasn't sure about this. We should definitely back here. Yeah. Definitely get 6 off that wave. I'm already level 7 though, man. He's down a lot of XP. We can we can go pretty ham here. I'm going double longsword. Looks like mid is going pretty good. Our team comp is kind of weird. I don't know why I'm seeing so many Heimers today, man. Haven't seen that champion in months, and now we see two of them. And then I think there was a lobby where I was going to have another one, but it got dodged. Maybe he got a buff. I don't know. Right now, I just kind of want to wait for my Ignite. Try to hold the wave outside turret. Poke him down a little bit if he tries to see us. But don't want to do anything too crazy until we have Ignite. And until we know where their jungle is. Oh my god, we don't have Kindred ulti. How unlucky did I just get on that play too? That's a little bit crazy. Dang, man. That's a double kill if I get that grind. I wonder if Kindred could have... Uh... I, I feel like he maybe backed out a little bit too much when I had my grinder on him. I really just need one auto attack there, but I think he was like trying to cut out the set. I think if he focuses, if we focus the graves, I think that goes much better for us. Unfortunately, we didn't have the ulti either. Double kill. I've been noticing jungles are just ganking more top lane in general lately, and I don't know why. Because dragons are so important. Oh man, he has red buff. I really want this plate.
That's class. An ally has been slain. How's a freaking gore drinker already, man? I don't know. I think jungle really saved this guy, if I'm just being honest. Didn't dragons get a big HP buff? Yeah, that's true. They are pretty hard to take early. Maybe that's why I'm getting ganked more early. Even jungles too on my team have been ganking more. Like, it's just been more topside oriented. Which has actually been kind of fun. I don't know. It seems kind of random too. Like, some games... Some games, like, neither jungle comes top. Nice, we take them. What are my thoughts on Volibear top line? Mm, I think it's strong early. But I think it falls off pretty hard. I need my cleaver so bad. I'm gonna try to bait that. Oh dang, he's just recalling. So even though he has an item lead on me right now, I think with Cleaver I can win. Because he doesn't he doesn't even have steel caps yet. We're gonna do really good damage right now. No wardens, no steel caps. It's actually really nice, man. It's refreshing to play against someone that gets damage. Instead of just stacking armor and trying to stonewall me. Gonna go Emacs second. My Q doesn't really do much in this matchup. I'd rather have my E on a shorter cooldown and bigger shield. Oh man, I'm getting ganked here. Good thing we pulled off pretty early. I wonder if he recalled. Oh. Dude, he's gonna ult you. Oh my god, she messed up her ball. Alright, rest in peace. I guess at least he flashed. Thank you to see you, Abyss. Welcome in, dude. Nice, we got the mechanic, dude. We got the E mechanic. 
That works every time if you time it right. Your E works like that against blinks only. It has to be a blink rather than a dash. So like Zoe ulti, Ezreal E, ZW. There's a few more too, but just to name a few. I love getting the timing on that, it's so satisfying. It'd be nice if we get tower. everything on me I think that could be a winning fight if we get a Heimer flank they have literally no ulties they used everything man should be drag up anything All right, let's go Titanic next. We, I'm, I'm probably gonna go Sunfire this game for Mythic. Because I think just tanking up will be good. We have a lot of damage. Kindred's really fed, Heimer's pretty fed. Ori always does solid damage if they get a good Shockwave. Yeah, old W's risky with Heimer. I only see them do that if they land their E first. Thankfully that Graves has like no tenacity. Almost wonder if he went Bloodline. Cause he got stunned for super long there. I'm not seeing this, oh there he is. I really want a 1v1 set right now. He does have Titanic Spike though. I had to flash over that trap like really quickly before my E got it. So I had to flash a little bit sooner on that one. Dude, could we actually do Shelly before it despawns? This is gonna be close. Just use everything, man. Oh yeah, we got it. I want the empowered recall here. I think it's way better if I take it. Kind of wondering if we can, uh, I'm going to see what happens with this 1v1. I'm going to drop Shelly bottom, then I think we try to Baron, honestly. We do it really fast if Heimer TPs. I think we could have waited a little bit longer, but this might be okay. Oh man, why is he tanking it? There's another trap. I think that's a game winning call right there. Huge macro play for us. I'm 
We still got the Shelly alive too. Got he has Predator. I'll be surprised if we live on this one. Wow, okay, I guess we live. Good guy, Janna, dying for the team. This is super greed. Wait, why is my Kindred not going for this? What the heck? She's running Hex Flash? Oh my god, this pathing is trying to get me killed, man. Don't do that to me, Riot. You know what, dude? Let's get the Aegis right now. We have a lot of HP. I'd rather have resist. Honestly, it's kind of hard to buy Aegis T sometimes. Like, having 1400 gold on the back is kind of rare. They can't really go, like, two in because they got to answer their base. So it'd be a really good time to siege top. Maybe just try to flank here. That Heimer is a little bit careful, that man. You can always e buff it right before that Zoe sleep. Dude, such a nice VR. That should be game. Sadly can't jump over walls like Kindred can. Oh my god, we have no wave. I couldn't see anything. Finally got some seepers. Got my grinder pretty soon. Oh my god, this Vi guy is gonna predator. Oh my god, we landed that, but she healed. She was autoing those minion minions so she healed a little bit. Mm. Got a 
rather just get my back off right now, to be honest. Let's get Sterex next with this build. Sunfire should give me enough tankiness. We can go pretty aggressive with the rest of the build. Hey, good to see you, Noah. How you been, dude? He's probably gonna die here, but we should get Baron. This guy might be dying a lot, but he's doing a really good job. Yeah, he's pulling so much pressure. I don't know. I think we should wait until Heimer spawns. Goodness, really? Is that Gore Drinker heal? I don't know if we win this. Okay, if we land E, we do. That guy definitely thought it was just Heimer chilling in the pit. Gets old Ergot surprise. Yeah, that would have been nice if I got him into execute range before he shielded. Because then I could have just pulled with my grinde. That's what I thought was going to happen there. It was really close. That's why I was like getting ready to run over to the Caitlyn so I could get the fear on her. But then I wasn't getting shotgun, so I wasn't really doing much damage. Gotta wait for my flash here. Zoe Q's do nothing to me. We can just go full frontliner right now with this build. Nice, good game, dude. These are the games for building frontline feels pretty nice. Like if your team has good damage and you have certain champions, like especially Kindred, like Kindred is literally pretty much an ADC like him. That lane was crazy though, man. There was so much jungle action. Yeah, literally my last like two or three games, there's just been so much jungle action. Like I don't even think, I don't even think Balling got ganked a single time that game. I don't know if either jungle ganked Balling.
Yeah, that set wasn't bad at all. Like, that was actually pretty good. I thought Heimer had 5k damage for a sec, but I guess it didn't swap them in the scoreboard. I was like, wait, there's no way. Yeah, that guy did 30k, man. Kindred had 37k, holy smokes. Yeah, that was really nice. I think also unflinching Legend Tenacity plus Sunfire passive allows me to frontline so hard. Like I can just run through everything. Just so much Tenacity. Good game. Freed by chains.